Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film my five minute mommy makeup routine and also show you guys my mommy must haves. Um, not baby must haves, but mommy must haves that have really helped me uh, throughout the newborn phase and the baby phase and just being a new mom in general, these are the things that have helped me. The newborn must-haves or baby must-haves, I'm gonna film in a separate video. And I feel like I'm gonna say must-haves so many times, but um, two of the products in this makeup routine are must-haves for me. I think I was really naive into thinking that I would be able to have the time to still do my full glam makeup routine, the full highlight and contour and my mascara and my eyebrows and lip liner and lipstick, I don't have that time at all. So um, I guess I've learned to embrace sort of being barefaced, but still feeling a little bit better about myself if I really only have five minutes to get out of the door. So what I start with is a concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I know a lot of people use this. It's a really good concealer. Um, it's hard to find one that rivals it, and it's full coverage, and I really need a concealer. Yeah, that's full coverage for my bags, but also one that I don't have to set because I don't have the time to set my makeup. I go back and forth, uh, depending on my skin tone, if I'm paler or a little bit darker, between the light medium and the medium. And this is the light medium. So I'm just going through and seeing what areas need a little bit of coverage. Also I'm going through a phase right now of growing out my brows and I've been using um, and also my lashes because I had a bunch of lash fallout um, postpartum. So I've been using Lash Food and Lash Brow and I used to use Grande Lash and they also had a brow serum and uh, I think both brands work just as good and they, they actually really do work. So I tend to have a lot of pigmentation on my skin. So I just try and cover all those areas up. And then I just start to blend it out. Sometimes I use a brush and sometimes I use my fingers. Um, but I really don't, I don't have preference. I guess also it depends on if I'm really, really rushing, I'll just use my fingers. Concealer would be my first must-have in terms of when it comes to my makeup routine, and then I guess the second must-have that I would have is my lash curler. And this is the Surratt lash curler. And I would say this one and the Kevin Aquan lash curlers are the best ones I've ever tried. And you can start to see the difference I probably do it like two or three times just to make sure I got every lash. And they're really curled because obviously it falls throughout the day a little bit, but it still just makes such a difference. And I just hold it in place for a few seconds and sort of tilt it up a little bit. The next item that I use, but it's not a must have, um, I just throw it into my five minute makeup routine, but um, I still really, really like it. And I just put like a little bit of a stain and I even like let it, it's um, 
tell you guys what it is. It's Too Faced Peach Puff. Um, is that the color? Diffused Matte Lip Color in Peach Puff, I think. And I'll link it down below. And um, so what I do is I just use my finger to dab it all around. And like even if it like goes over my lips a little bit, that's fine. I just use it as a stain to amp up my lips a little bit. That's it. That's all I do. That's my five minute mommy makeup routine. So now I want to get into my mommy must haves, um, aside from my concealer and lash curler that have really helped me uh, day to day. I'm not putting it in any particular order. I just like threw a bunch of stuff to the side um, that I knew that I wanted to include in this video. So I'm going to start. This is probably my number one must have. I know it's crazy, but it's the pop socket and I never in a million years thought that I'd be a pop socket person but it has changed my life in terms of being a mom and having to hold a baby and then your phone in another hand and I'm not even it's not even like I'm on my phone on social media it's really you don't even realize how much research you do when you're a new mom like I didn't know anything going into this so um like if I'm with the baby and I need my phone like I can't be holding my phone like this or with my pinky underneath it kills me so being able to hold it like this and just like easily do research it's a game changer for me so pop socket is a mommy must have um, my next mommy must have is a water bottle and I got this one off of Amazon and I'll link it down below and it has um, the times and then it also has the measurements after you have a baby you have to even when you're pregnant you have to drink so much water this has helped me like sort of make sure that i was doing that and i still i still carry this around all the time the next one is an external uh charger for my phone and this has helped me so much because i'm on my phone a lot doing research i don't have time to wait for my phone to charge and not have it by me i also use my phone for the baby monitor. Whatever it is that I use it for, um, I need an external charger. It helps me so much. One of the things that happens postpartum for a lot of women is hair loss. I still take my prenatals, but it wasn't enough um, to help with the hair loss. So one of the vitamins I've been taking is this Wellbell hair, nail, and skin vitamin. And this has been a game changer in terms of helping me definitely with my hair and helping it stay strong and getting longer. It's helped strengthen my nails and it's definitely improved my skin as well. But I would say that I've seen the biggest difference with my hair. So I will link these down below. I do have a promo code, it's ROS20. I've tested out other hair vitamins and these are the only ones that I have found to make a huge difference for me. The Next, mommy must have, this one is so good for anybody that is a coffee drinker, um, even a tea drinker. It is the Ember Mug, and uh, this is one of the first things I bought. I knew that I was gonna need this um, after I had my baby. I didn't really drink coffee when I was pregnant. Um, you can, you're allowed to have a glass a day. I think that's what, a cup a day. I think that's what they say. Um, but I knew that I was going to need this because I hate coming back to a cold cup of coffee. So it, this keeps my coffee warm. It really does work. Um, and then my next mommy must have are laceless shoes or sneakers or just a laceless pair of really comfortable shoes that you can just throw on and run out the door. So we have a pediatrician right around the corner from us. It's like a five, maybe like seven minute walk from us. And um, there's been a few times where my daughter has been sick or a rash comes up on her skin. And as a new mom, you're not really familiar with these things and obviously everything is gonna scare you. So uh, there's been a few times where I've called and I'm like, my daughter has what so 
so-and-so on her skin or she's feeling this way, uh, can I come in for a sick visit? And they're like, oh, we have an appointment in like 10 minutes, whatever. And so I throw her in the carrier, which is my next must have. And, um, and then we don't wear shoes in our house. So when I go out to get my shoes, she's already in the carrier and for me to have to like bend down and like tie my shoes or whatever it is it with her on me already it's really hard so these are nike i don't even know nike react i'll try and find them and link them up i'll link them down below you could even see how much use i've gotten out of them i wear them every day um if i'm actually leaving the house a lot of these are if I'm actually even leaving the house. Most of the times I don't, I'm, I'm home every day. So my next must have, which I just mentioned is a carrier. I have the Baby Bjorn carrier. I love this one. It is so easy to use. Um, it comes with like, comes with this and you put, you put this on your back and then you clip this in, you put the baby in and, um, this, so we have a really good stroller, but it's so hard to use it when you're alone. And my husband is at work and when I'm home and if I wanna get out of the house or if I have to take her to the pediatrician, um, I don't wanna have to deal with putting her in the stroller, getting it down the stairs. It's, I don't know, I just, I find it to be a lot of work if I'm alone. So I find, it's just so much easier to put her in the carrier, even if I'm going food shopping and I need to pick up a few things. Um, so we live in Brooklyn and Obviously, it's an area where you don't have to drive everywhere. So I guess this is a game changer for me because I do a lot of walking here. Um, so I could just throw her in and walk to the supermarket and pick up a few things. Love, love this carrier. My next must have is um, this breast pillow. And I hate to even call it a breast pillow because it's an everything pillow. You can dock your baby if, um, for like a few minutes. You would just lay her there, him or her there. And um, you could use it if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, it just, it helps so much. And you just use this part to put it around your waist and then you could lay the baby there. And it's not just a mommy must have, it's a daddy must have, it's a grandparent must have. It's just, it helps so much with holding the baby. Um, and it's so freaking soft. I love it. I think it's by Nook. Some I, I got it off of the top.com, so I will link it down below. My next must have, which I absolutely love, is this, tote, I think it's Tote Savvy. It's a Tote Savvy organizer and it opens up like that. And you could fit so much in here and it just keeps everything so organized. And um, I switch back and forth between two totes. So I have this one and I'll show you guys. It fits perfectly. And it just slides right in and that's it. Look how easy that is. I know this tote is not a must have. I, I love it and it's amazing, but I think I have like this $15 tote that I got from Target and it's one of my favorites. Look at this, look how pretty this is. Look at the inside. And so I use this as well. And it's just, it's a perfect fit. Look at that. And then my um, other must have would be really cute loungewear. I know that sounds weird, but um, you sort of lose yourself in this whole process and you, you really don't feel like yourself. And I guess for me, um, I wanted to feel somewhat good day to day. I didn't want to just like wake up and stay in my pajamas all day and feel like a total train wreck. <laughs> so um, cute loungewear that you could wear around the house uh, was definitely a big one for me. Um, I say was, like I'm out of this phase, is a big one for me. So um, I'll show you guys a cute set that I got. So this is like a really cute like waffle knit set that I got, it has like a hood. And it is by Skin, I think, yeah. Really, really cute. And then it comes with a set of like waffle knit joggers. I love this set. Um, so it's just something to just feel a little bit better. Even this five minute mommy makeup routine, um, 
will make me feel better even if I'm not going out. It still helps just to feel a little bit better about yourself. I'm gonna make a video on that too, talking about everything that I felt postpartum and experienced because I feel like it's not talked about enough and I've been wanting to do it, but um, I had a really rough labor and I still have like a little bit of trauma surrounding it. So I haven't really gotten to the point where I'm able to, I mean, I can talk about it, but I guess I haven't been ready to just sit down and film a video about it, but I, I think I'm getting there. And um, I guess this was a good way to just kick off my my mommy journey that I, I sort of want to take a turn into. As much as I love makeup and hair, and I'm still going to include that into my YouTube channel, I do want to include some um, mommy baby content on here as well. Um, and then my last must have, I think, would be, yeah, would just be a hat. When I'm like really feeling socially unacceptable, a hat is my go-to. So like my hair is a total mess um, and I don't even have time for a five minute makeup routine, then I just throw out, th I just throw on a hat and I'm out the door and that's it. You don't even realize with a newborn, like just, you, that you don't even have time to eat. I had times where like I didn't even have time to pee um, and that's why I have the water bottle. Like you forget to drink, like you really, you forget about yourself. Um, if you guys have any mommy must haves that helped you, definitely list it down below. I'd love to hear what your must haves are. Just leave a comment down below. Um, I'm sure there, there are a lot of other must haves. These are just what have helped me so far and I'm sure there's gonna be more that are gonna come up. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, just leave it in the um, comment section below and I will see you guys soon.